very interesting thing happened this week. We shot 23 bison. It was a lot. It was a lot of bison. Fun week, but a lot of bison. Guys brought their own rifles, whatever they picked for it. Some people picked a 6.5 Creedmoor. Some people brought a 300 PRC, a 4570. You know, we saw the big guns, we saw the tiny guns. All on mature cow bison. These are huge animals. Almost some of, as big some as of the them bulls. were some of them were almost as big or bigger than the bulls. Like a few of them, were we huge. didn't know it was a cow until we saw it like urinate or something. Right. Yeah, they were. Like it was kind of crazy. Big ones. Yeah. So the question is, how much? Did the cartridge matter? Right? 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 PRC. How much did the cartridge matter? I'm, I'm not going to lead the witness. What do you think? What was I, your opinion? Okay, so we, we both saw a lot of animals go down. Yeah, so I think a lot of people said that, oh, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you shoot it in the right spot. It doesn't matter what, what cartridge you're shooting. And with the ear hole shot, I think that's true. As long as you are extremely precise and you hit it in the right spot i think you could shoot it with whatever and it'll drop if you hit it in the brain but we saw with the 6.5 creed more somebody shot it in the vitals and it took five six shots and 40 minutes later it finally went down and in that case with the vitals i i mean i think it matters a lot because clearly i mean it took almost 40 minutes for that thing to go down and several shots and a few of them were perfect shots. So the the popular belief right now in hunting is cartridge doesn't matter. Just put it in the vitals. If, as long as you hit vitals, it does not matter. On smaller animals, sure. I think I think when people say that, I, I, if you're shooting white-tailed deer, it doesn't really matter what you shoot it with. A white-tailed deer is just not a difficult animal to kill. Really, they're small. It's a yeah. small animal. You know, your two forty three is absolutely adequate for that. These are big animals. And so I traced that 6.5 Creedmoor with an ELDX. And, and I should say, I've killed or my kids have killed maybe 50 animals with a 6.5 Creedmoor and an ELDX. Absolutely lethal. We've used it everywhere. Love that combination. But in this case, on a bison... I, I said, what happened? Did it just not go deep enough into the vitals? Did it not penetrate? No, it wasn't actually the issue. It goes in, it the bullet just deflects off a rib, and it was out, out of the vitals. Interesting. It didn't actually touch the vitals. Huh. And I think the issue is when you're talking about a big, heavy boned animal, yeah, things like that can happen. This is a big bone to go through. And so that's that's my opinion on elk. Now, hey, if my wife or one of my kids were hunting elk and they shot a 6.5 Creedmoor best, then I would say, absolutely, let's take the 6.5 Creedmoor. I'd probably put them on, on a copper bullet, though, so that we can for sure get deeper penetration and break through that bone a little bit easier and stuff like that yep. so that it stays together. So could a 6.5 Creedmoor work on an elk? Yes, and I'm not saying it doesn't. I, thousands of them are going to be killed every year with it. We've killed big animals with a 6.5 crude more with my kids because that was the cartridge that they shot the, boat the most. But people who say it doesn't matter, I'm sorry, you should go bison hunting with me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> also, it matters. They like, are. You can just oh. prove it. Like, let's yeah. look at the wound and I will show you it mattered yep. what you shot it with. We shot one with a 300 PRC. That's a cannon. Between the eyes. But it basically bounced off its skull, is what I heard. Yeah, so four shots with a 300 PRC on the head, in the skull. Four shots with the 300 PRC, and it took a long time to go down. I couldn't believe my eyes watching it. When we went up and did our little necropsy of the animal to see what happened... That's where I had some cool, I think, just learnings about terminal ballistics. So... He was very, very close to the correct spot to be shooting on the head. He aimed between the eyes. Maybe it was a one inch below that. 
But really the spot you should aim is kind of if you make an X between the horns and the eyes, you should aim there. So a little bit above the eye line. My brother, who's a veterinarian, told me that afterward. Um, and so, uh, yep. And so he was just a tiny bit low. Now, my thought was, but like, but this is a 300 PRC. Uh, he was also shooting an ELDX, if I remember right. And uh, so it's a 225 grain bullet going in there. And it's going to, that bullet's going to shrapnel apart. Like that's got to hit the brain. And so I stuck my little pinky finger in. I actually, I wanted to feel like what happened? Cause like you shoot wood with a bullet and it just bam, there are pieces everywhere. And it just sent a clean hole. And, and I think what happens is when you're shooting uh, uh, at a skull, it's like when you're shooting a BB gun at a bottle, you know, you shoot a BB gun at a bottle and it you know, shatters, yep. right? Then you think, Oh, let me get a gun and shoot a beer bottle. And it's so disappointing. You can't even tell you hit it because it just zips a clean hole right through it. That's what happened on the skull. There were, there were fragments of, of, of bone, but they were all in a pretty clean hole. It really didn't crack the skull. Yeah. I would not, I would not think that that's how that would have gone. Right. And so in that case, did the cartridge matter? No, not at all. Uh, If you're making a headshot like that, it has to be exactly in the right spot. And that's why you see farmers and veterinarians and whoever often walk around with a 22 mag pistol. Because if you put it in the perfect spot, really, it doesn't matter what you hit it with. I mean, if you got lead in the brain, you know, it's over, right? Yep. And so in that case, should, you know, should you pick the 6.5 Creedmoor or the 300 PRC? I would pick the 6.5 Creedmoor because almost everybody is going to shoot it more accurately. Um, so that's that's the headshot. The vitals, completely different story. I categorically disagree with anybody that says the cartridge does not matter. And that was a perfect example of it. We saw the smaller cartridges just struggled. And then somebody uses a 300 PRC, a 7 PRC, a 4570 on the vitals, and bam, Drop. those animals go down. Like a rock, yep. yep absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a very short very ethical yep, way to that's, take it. That's the way I shot mine was with 7 PRC, high shoulder shot. Was it the only high shoulder shot of the week? I think or so. Or did we shoot a couple more? No, I think you were the only one to use a high shoulder. Okay. And that was the move. Yeah, 7 PRC, high shoulder, drop with a copper like a bullet even. Yep, copper yep. bullet. Yep. And what I would say is this. One, it depends on what bullet you're using, certainly more than the cartridge. I think that would be difficult to argue. I I think the bullet matters a lot more. So we've got to talk about um, that. It also matters where you usually aim, what your normal shot is, Um, because there are some, some shots that are just higher, not only higher percentage shots, but just more lethal if you, if you get them there. And so I think that's why there's such a disconnect on does the cartridge matter um, is, is those things. Plus the fact that, you know, if you shoot 20 animals in a row with a six Creedmoor and you even took down five elk, you say, this is stupid. Cartridge doesn't matter. I shot 20 animals. Five of them were elk with a six Creedmoor. But what happens on number 23 when something goes wrong and you look in and you're like, oh, so it turns out the edge case is, you know, it hits a bone and deflects and doesn't make it in or something yeah. like that. So I think cartridge matters absolutely. I think bullet placement obviously is number one, though. Yeah. But before the cartridge is the bullet. And I, I am starting to be convinced that a, a copper bullet is just the way to go with most hunting situations. Hundred percent. Yeah, and you lose less meat too. He just works so well. Uh, it, you know, every time I I look at it, I'm like, no, but it's gonna just the wound is gonna be skinnier and stuff. Uh, a lead bullet's gonna you know hit a bigger area, and it's true. I and it's true when you go through, but every time works, you shoot though. something with a it copper, works. it just works so well. Just that deep penetration. You get two holes, so you're usually gonna get. Um, a little bit of, of a, a blood trail. You're ruining less meat. And if you're shooting a smaller cartridge, man, is that insurance to make sure we don't deflect off a bone or not penetrate deep enough? Because it will. A 6.5 Creedmoor is going to go. 
This was a clip from the Backfire Mancast, a podcast that we do every 10 days. Check out the Backfire Mancast. It's The really purpose of it is there are a lot of things that YouTube doesn't allow us to say every week, and that's where we can say it. But here we give a couple clips of things that are suitable for the YouTube overlords.